Hey World Changers, Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math Freebie of the Week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you all feel calm and confident when it is time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week, we will practice a specific question type. Now, these videos, they are short, they're sweet, and they are to the point. And at the end of this video, if you know that you need more help with a specific skill, I will point you in the right direction to help you make math your jam. The focus for this week is drum roll. Multi-select. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach ya. All right, third grade, here is your problem this week. So go ahead and pause the video and try this one on your own. And when you're ready, come on back so you can check your work. Okay, third grade, welcome back. So let's go ahead and read your problem for the week. It says to select all of the following that represent the unit fraction one fourth. A unit fraction has that one in the numerator and the four is the denominator. You see that number on top? That's called the numerator. It describes the amount that is being considered and when you jump down from the fraction bar denominator, it's the total number of equal parts in each whole. That means that we should be considering one out of four. I see number lines here. I see area models and I see a few sets. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one. We're gonna go through each one. For the first one, we have a number line and we see that it is definitely one hop away. That is true. So the numerator would be one, but now let's consider the total number of equal parts in each whole. And that would be one, two, three, four, five. So there are actually five parts in each whole. So the fraction being represented in the first one is one fifth, not one fourth. So should we keep the first one or eliminate it? Eliminate, yes, let's go ahead and mark that one wrong and move on. Okay, the next one we have an area model and we do have equal parts here, don't we? Yeah, we do, and how many are shaded in? There's one part shaded in, right? That's the number that we're considering. There's one part shaded. Out of how many total? Well, we have one, two, three, four parts. It's kind of hard to see, but this was two right here. There are four total parts in each whole, so our denominator for this one is four. One fourth. So does that represent the unit fraction one fourth? It does. So let's go ahead and check that one right there. Okay, the next one, we've got some triangles that look like they are equal in size. They are a set. They're not together as one whole, but they're considered a set. So let's create our fraction here. How many triangles are shaded in? Two, right? There are two shaded in out of how many equal parts, how many equal triangles in the set? Four, right? There's one, two, three, two four total triangles. So the fraction being represented here would be two fourths, which is not the unit fraction one fourth. So should we keep this one or eliminate it? Eliminate, that's right. Let's eliminate that one. Moving on, we've got a circle here that's been broken into equal parts. So it is representing a fraction. And let's consider how many are shaded. That would be one, two, three, four are shaded out of five total. So this represents four fifths, which is not representing our unit fraction of one fourth. It could represent a unit fraction of one fifth if we're considering the white part of the circle, but that still would be one fifth, not one fourth. So should we keep this one or eliminate it? Eliminate it, yes. Okay, and finally we have a set over here, a set of hearts. How many hearts are shaded in? One. Out of how many hearts total in the set? Well, there's one, two, three, four total hearts. So that's the total number of equal hearts in this set. 
that's a denominator. We do have the fraction 1 fourth here, which is a unit fraction. So what do we need to do with this one, y'all? Keep it or eliminate it. Let's keep it. Let's go ahead and check that one. So we should have marked the second one and the fifth answer choice, and that is how you rock with this problem. So go ahead and pause the video if there's still any more notes that you need to record onto your paper, and when you're ready, let's close out this video. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out the link somewhere around this video. Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good. It's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you want to get better, stronger, or more confident with something, you have got to be intentional about your practice. And you have to throw down your very best effort each and every time so you can get better. I believe in you and I will see you next time, world changers. Bye!